has the dry, soft, powdery snow, I can just push it with the snow shovel. But the kids love to build into towering snowmen. Who cares what the kids want? Or it may dump three feet of dry, powdery stuff that you can't pack into a good snowball. Oh, the but poor, yeah, the poor little monsters can't whip snowballs at people and at cars. Oh. But delights skiers and snowboarders and students when school is canceled. So did you get that? The uh, dry powdery stuff, it could be three feet to which, an inch. Which makes the kids stay home and drive their parents nuts. Well, but, nobody's going to get around with three feet, not even the male girl or man. But they're not, but they can't make snowballs and such. Yeah, well, yeah. good for that. Well, well, it's also good for the adults who have to shovel. Uh, you know? Uh, 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 oh, I saw whatchamacallit last night. Uh, somebody, I don't know if it was you or somebody else, put up wow. uh, 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 Abbott and Lou Costello. Oh, no, I didn't see on that. On the... Uh, some uh, the uh, uh, on the mathematics of uh, something <laughs> equaling twenty eight. You know what bothers me uh, at the um, the historic Patterson Museum, where which happens to be the home of the number one the Colt firearms exhibit, oh. the guns that won the West, pretty much. Uh, well, the Winchester rifle was pretty popular too <laughs> back then, right? So anyway, they, they have a beautiful, the number one Colt firearms exhibit uh, in historic Patterson. But the Lou Costello exhibit, because Lou is from Patterson also, uh, the Patterson of the past, in the Italian section, uh, is small. It's such a tiny display. It's, it, it's really, I mean, you know, I mean. Well, hey, maybe it didn't leave a lot of stuff behind. Yeah, you know. Oh well. All right. Autism researchers at Texas A&M University say they have discovered that a common food supplement could help offset a genetic mutation linked to autism. They better say something about the vaccines. Otherwise, this is this is big pharma media article. Carnitine, which is available as an over-the-counter not nutritional supplement and is found in red meats and whole milk, could play a key role in preventing some forms of autism from developing during the early days of pregnancy. Carnitine, as Carnitine. opposed to carnosine. That's correct. Carnitine. Carnosine and carnitine, though, are from meat. They do come from meat. Okay. Um, researchers have not reached a consensus on whether pregnant women should supplement their carnitine intake. That's where they get the word carn, uh, uh, carn, carn, carne, 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 carnivorous, yeah. carnitine, carn, meat from meat. Carny, you know, like yeah. the uh, con carne, chili con carne, chili, concarne, yeah. chili with meat. Yeah. Chili with meat, and uh, that's Texas chili. Uh, other chili is chili with beans. I like I like the mixture of uh, uh, and red kidney beans with a, a, a lot of meat. Yeah. I don't like people being stingy with the meat when it comes to food. Yeah. Pisses me off. You know, which is which happens to be a lot of uh, our local Chinese takeout uh, oh, restaurants. Chisler's Hall of Shame on you, man. They're cutting back on the number of shrimp and the, and the amount of meat that's in the food, you sneaky bastards. Plastic and rice. Well, hey. that, but that's mainland China. They're mixing plastic rice with real rice. But we ain't got no food anymore. Oh, by the it's way, not food. mainland China just rejected a, 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 tr a huge shipment of genetically modified corn from the United States. But this is a country that has no quality control and, and sells toxic food. Is rejecting U.S. corn <laughs> for being genetically modified. Now, isn't that like as well they should? But you know, as well they should. But they're not. Their exactly. rec their their record is not they, clean. Uh, they are no examples. 
All right. I digressed. I'm sorry. But the A&M researchers see it as a step with almost no downside if you done under medical supervision comparing with the widely accepted recommendation that pregnant women consume folic acid, which is added to many foods because it helps prevent defects in a baby's brain and spinal cord. It's also a good for, um, um, uh, what do you call, um, I drew a blank. All right, con you. continue. It might help effectively address what seems to be a common factor in autism, risk. Paul Wang, Senior Vice President for Medical Research at Autism Speaks, said he could not endorse adding significant amounts of carnitine to people's diets without clinical trials but nonetheless said the science behind the idea is sound. I think this is an important step behind what's happening with certain types of autism, said Wang. Previous studies found that a particular gene, the TMLHE, is linked to autism. Lead researcher Zhuang Zhai and Bank Katis appear to have determined how that connection works by tracking and analyzing certain kinds of stem cells in developing brains. The lab work was done on mice, which are genetically similar to people. In some mice, the TMLHE gene is mutated. Because of this, the body produces insufficient amounts of carnitine. Carnitine is important because it helps transport fatty acids into the correct compartment in a cell, the mitochondria. Mm -hmm. So they can be broken down into energy. Lack of carnitine appears to result in a fetus is neural system cells excuse me, neural stem cells, not getting fatty acid to correct places, increasing autism risk. For a male fetus, the mutation erases the ability to make carnitine entirely. A finding consistent with the fire, far higher prevalence of autism amongst boys. Autism might ultimately be linked to as many as 1,000 genes. And this research addresses only one of those genes. If you can reduce incidence by even 1% by just a nutritional method, that's a lot of money and effort society has saved. Autism oh, yeah. is a general term for a group of complex disorders of brain development, characterized in varying degrees by difficulties in social interaction, verbal and nonverbal communication, and repetitive behaviors. According to Autism Speaks, a national advocacy group that sponsors research and conducts awareness campaigns. One in 68 American children are on the autism spectrum. A tenfold increase in prevalence in 40 years to the, according to the organization, which estimates the social cost in the United States in a year is $236 billion. The National Institutes of Health and the Welch Foundation, a private funder of chemical research, paid for the work of Jai and Bocatis, or Catis. 
the upshot to them, the body, does not necessarily have to produce its own carnitine. It's found in many normal diets. The ideal amounts for someone to ingest will have to be worked out in separate clinical trials, Bankatis said, but he added that there, there is little reason for someone working with the doctor to wait. He sees carnitine supplements in the same light as folic acid, which poses so little risk and carries such an upside that the Food and Drug Administration allowed it to be added to many foods without extensive clinical trials. For people considering starting a family who are on a vegan diet that has little carnitine, I would ask my doctor if I could take a supplement, Van Katis said, it's just such a small, non-invasive, inexpensive step. All right, little uh, holistic health talk here on our show, Progressive Discussions. I just want everybody to know everything we discuss politically is part of our series called Capitalism in a Conch Shell, and there is the conch. Messages from the great briny deep from uh, uh, um, not only Davy, Neptune. King Neptune and Davy, Poseidon. and Davy Jones's luck. Davy Jones down there, yeah. All right. Um, and of course, all kinds of arr, pirate treasure. Booty. Booty. Pirate booty, yeah. I, um, I was watching a video... Um, travel-oriented video about the island of Bora Bora in the South Pacific. What what paradise, man. Yeah, exactly. Wow, you see that water, baby? The color of that water? The water, the white sand, the, the, the volcanic mountains in the background. Did it show the... Uh, the wahinis, I the mean huts, the women. Huh? The huts where you stay? Yeah, the huts are on... on the water? Are on the water, and, 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 and the coffee table opens up and you can see the, the reef fish down below. Yeah. below. Yeah. And you can swim with the sharks. Uh, that'll pass There's on. a guy that uh, is very friendly with the sharks and he feeds he feeds the sharks. Good and for him. Yeah, you're in the water with the sharks. You know that. The sharks mm -hmm. get tired of eating the same diet. They'll take a bite out of him. He's very friendly with them. He is? Yes, he is. What do you mean friendly? You mean that he bond that they recognize him? He bonded that with him. Yes, that he's not a threat. Well, I've seen I've seen uh, uh, people actually pet a great white. I think they're they're out of their damn minds. But, <laughs> but um, hey, some people don't learn until they can become the bait. Yeah. Yeah. Well, great whites. Uh, I mean, it. You know, people think of fish as being stupid animals, but great whites hunt seals. They they don't circle the seal with their fins sticking out of the water. They come crashing from underneath the seal, mm. out of the water, like straight up. I saw an alligator do that to a woman once. I don't know if it was fake or what, but he ate her. She was. Was it a croc? Crocodile? Yeah, she was walking backwards on the beach would have, uh, you know, taken photos or whatever, and he jumps out of the water and he grabs her, and she's gone. I it was on the beach, then it was a saltwater croc, crocodile. They get huge. Well, yeah, but can they do that? Can they, they jump up and gra grab you? Wait, wait, was she wading in the water? She was walking backwards on the beach. Walking. She walked right into the guy, but he jumped up to get her. Oh, oh, he was, he was on the beach sunning it, sir. He was in the water. And he, and, and he lunged out yeah. and grabbed her. And there was another chick on the beach that this chick was taking a photo of while she's moving, walking back to the water. Well, then this must have been in like uh, a beach in um, yep. nor northern Australia because the, the saltwater crocs that are that big and that do things like that are in mm -hmm. like uh, Indonesia, you know. In well, the, that's uh, all I wanted to know whether they can actually do that. Whether well, they, they they are they are man eater. They can be man eaters. I mean, jump up to grab her. 
not lay on the ground and open her mouth and grab her. He jumped out of water like. Like a dolphin jumps up in the water. And then it must have jumped sideways to and grab her. swallowed her. You mean she wasn't sticking out of the crock? And the picture disappeared after that. Okay? It was totally unexpected. <laughs> well, I that saw, she would become crock. I bait. saw a picture of a of a uh, I saw a video of an orca grabbing this uh, young guy uh, by the ankle and pulling him See? in the yeah. water and then they never found him. I That's mean, because he didn't live three days inside the orca's belly like uh, uh, Jonah did. He became no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Food. It was in the shallows uh, uh, on the beach, and uh, the kid was standing on the wet sand, and um, the orca just grabbed his ankle. All right, let me get this. All right, all right, yeah, here. get that, get that over with. As we know, wild animals can be unpredictable. But once you are educated about the species in question, like, you'll know how to react and coexist. Hey, this is kind of related to what we were just talking about. Somewhat. It's mid-February. The start of wild turkey mating season is approaching. Hey, a wild turkey was uh, attacking a mailman in our area. It's included here. This past week, yeah. Okay. And will last through May. This was a reminder to me after I heard about the Hillsdale mailman's turkey encounter. <laughs> Male turkeys possibly will be venturing into our neighborhoods in search of females. Well, if a wild turkey went after me, I'd grab it right by that scrawny neck, that scrawny, wrinkly neck of his, and show him who the alpha is pick him up with one hand and say, cut the crap. Act, I'll calm him right down. Smack him across the beak a few times. Give him some bada beans. During mating season, the turkey's behavior may change as they can respond aggressively to reflective uh. surfaces thinking that their reflection is an intruding male turkey. Now that's true. That happens with Siamese fighting fish, betas. If, if you put a mirror in front of it, they get all pissed off. In Hillsdale, the turkeys may have seen their reflection on the mail truck's door or mirror. The toiki, the toikies. I have observed that wild turkeys also have a pecking order <laughs> of dominance. <laughs> and may view people who act fearful as underlings. Underlings? I'll knock him out, man. He'll be underling. He'll be under me, on the ground. If a wild turkey or a flock have entered your neighborhood, your driveway or yard, it's important that you establish dominance What I by say? scaring the turkey. Yeah, don't, uh, uh, you could do this with uh, most animals, but I wouldn't suggest uh, doing it with a grizzly bear. <laughs> Some ways to scare turkeys include making loud noises, waving your arms, blowing the sailor or Sarah Palin whistle. What about a, what about five, uh, what about a, a U.S. A, a USDA grade A knuckle sandwich. Opening up an umbrella or using a water bottle or a hose to squirt them. Yeah. Well, the wild animals not gonna not gonna like the shillelagh either. Turkeys may look large and intimidating, but are usually timid and scare easily. Well, they 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 puff themselves up. Their feathers get all you know big, and they you know. We have turkeys in Park Ridge, New Jersey, and they run when they see my dog. They're already here in our town, including coyotes. I what about the one on, in Washington Township? Oh, forget Lives it. Lives on the corner. Oh, forget it. They found a bear up there. <laughs> Black bear. 
I can't emphasize enough. Don't feed wild turkeys. Don't feed wild animals, period, except beautiful songbirds. You're okay with them. And now they may tell all their buddies to come around, too. Yeah. They might end up with a whole yard full of wild birds, but, you know. But uh, I, I, only, I only have a, an affection for... Um, two kinds of birds to me. Uh, I, first of all, the cardinals that show up in my yard every year to me are gorgeous. I don't mind, I would not mind buying bags of sunflower seeds for them. I don't have to worry about the robin redbreast because the robins like worms and after a rainy day they will pull them out of the ground so I don't have to really worry about them. But they're funny to watch. I mean, they got this big chest, they stick out, you know. Then they're very inquisitive, too. They come close to you. Uh, I got rabbits, I got possums, I got raccoons. Uh, you know, I don't, Jeez, I don't live out in the... You live in a goddamn uh, uh, woods. No, but we don't. I know. We live in a very uh, congested, suburban... This is, uh, this is not rural. No, we're not rural, but, you know... The animals became desensitized, I suppose, to human presence, which is not a good thing. Or we stole their habitat. They were here before us, but yeah. Way. Think about that. Feeding wild animals contributes to conflicts and habitation. Habitation. Turkeys are beneficial to our community as they eat ticks. I didn't know that. Helping to lower the deer tick populations. And I've also noticed fewer stink bugs. I had two goddamn stink bugs in my house so far. This goddamn Well, you're not a fan of insects. No. You don't like them. Um, um, but they certainly don't like stink bugs either. Um, the, I didn't know that turkeys were omnivorous. I didn't know that they, they, they will eat. Well, I know chickens will eat chickens anything. Will eat. Chickens will eat any damn thing they get their beak on it. Yeah. And I think ducks are omnivorous too. I think ducks will eat a variety. Too. It's amazing. Anyway. Oh yeah, we have beautiful mallard, wild mallard ducks. The male have has that shiny... Uh, um, um, Green. No, I was going to say effervescent. Iridescent. Uh, iridescent. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, effervescent, iridescent, uh, jade green head, and the female is drab with just a the, just a drab, dirty brown color. <laughs> um, but anyway, we are going to uh, break for lunch now. I want to apologize before we break for lunch. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know if it's if it's a glitch. I don't I don't know if it's uh, something normal with Windows 10, but when our editor tries to put our show together into one large video, like an hour and a half, which is generally give or take an hour and a half, sometimes yeah. rarely does it reach two hours, rarely yeah. does it reach an hour and 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 the file's too big. Yeah. It doesn't fit in the folder. I have no idea why this is happening, so I want to apologize that when you see this show, for this new show for this week for Progressive Discussions, it will be in in parts. Part one, video, um, part one, part two, part three, usually four. Ne I never seen five. Usually four parts. So I want to apologize, you know, to those that get all bent out of shape about one long video, well, you don't have to worry about that because you're not going to get one long video. What about anybody who knows about the problem to email you? Yeah, please email me if this is a Windows 10 thing because I never, my editor What's never, your email? never encountered, oh yeah, uh, our email is mega life 21 j p m at gmail.com all right so if you know anything about this about a video being too big for the folder or some nonsense like that um please let me know all right um we'll catch you on the next part